Okay, we're still working on rounding and shaping the, the mitten. I'm calling it the winter mitten. And um, The other nice thing you could probably do with this is um, if you wanted you could put a name across it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it and um, with a, like a, a wash and then after that I'm going to go ahead and um, um, well I think I'm going to cut that up because it's going to be too far out. Let me just scoop this out a little further. Um, then I'm going to put a little um, white dots like there's snow on it just like I do with the snowman scarf maybe a light blue or or a, a red or or whatever and uh, I think it will look nice once we get it done that's just my computer making some noises every once in a while okay so Really, there isn't a whole lot to this except just shaping it. And this is a good exercise for a beginner or anyone actually because it will teach you to kind of look at your own hand and how it, how it, you know, how it sits. And um, it can be a, a fun project to do in a group setting if you want to do it for a carving group. Maybe a winter project next year. Uh, you're more welcome to use this. You have my permission to uh, do it in a group setting if you want to. Okay, so that's our mitten. It's almost done here. Now, one thing you want to do before you paint anything, any carvings, you certainly want to make sure that you have um, uh, that you have all the rough spots taken off like what I'm doing here. All this rough stuff. I'm going to bend this over. I'm going to trim some more off of the top here so it looks like his hand's curved a little bit more. Or her hand, whichever. And um, once I have things set up, I'll let you folks know when I have other carving classes coming up. There's nothing in the immediate future. Um, Like I said, you can use a gouge to do this if you have the proper gouge. Now see here, it's starting to split. You want to be careful because you can chop off the top real quick by accident because it's um, you're going to have to go back and forth and just keep making those cuts until they meet one another like that. See? Just do one side and then turn it over and do the other. take a little more off that thumb here. There we go. And I'm going to, the other thing is you want to kind of go at an angle down. See? Just like that. That will give it some depth to it. Okay? Just see what I did? Alright. You're going to do like a little V cut in there. Not just a straight cut down in. And that gives it some depth to your piece. Then you can go back and round, <clears throat> excuse me, round things off a little bit. Okay. I'm scooping out underneath there so the thumb isn't real, real thick. Excuse me just a moment here. I'm, and so I'm scooping underneath the thumb here because the thumb is kind of too thick. All right, so we're just going to scoop some of this out. 
All right, there you go. See, and there's the thumb right there. Okay, round this up a little bit. Now you're going to look at your base and you're going to trim off whatever more you have to before you round off the cuff part or whatever you want to call it of the mitten, the very top. And so we're going to take off our corners here. Just take, you know, try to make it an oval shape. Try to get it the same size as all the way around. Alright. And you know what? If you don't succeed with this one, then go back and do another one. Um, you know, they, they don't take a lot to do. Um, So I want that a little bit more rounded than what it was. And that's a little tougher because you got to switch back and forth. And this is where you can spend a lot of time just whittling it down, okay, where you think it should be. And, um, you know, that's the fun part of this, you know, it's just taking it, looking at it, and just taking your time, just, you know, going over it a few times and trying to make it more round where there's flat pieces like here on the top. There'll be a little bit of a flat piece, but there shouldn't be a whole lot of flat surfaces anywhere on this mitten. Alright, so um, let's see here. Alright, so we'll be back and I'll help you finish off the bottom while we're back.